What's up guys, today in this video we are going to see the performance of Transcend Jet RAMs. Today to see this performance I have a same specification RAM in Corsair brand and we are going to see how reliable is Transcend brand and does it worth buying a Transcend Jet RAM and does it uh, perform well for your PC. So to compare I have a same 4GB DDR3 RAM with same specification in a Corsair brand and we will see how it performs, is it better than other brands. Is it same or it's perform worst? First we will compare it physically and then we will see its hardware performance and benchmarking. Let's go. So guys, first we are going to check the Transcend Jet RAMs physical look. Now Transcend provide two types of RAMs. First is their basic RAMs and second is their high profile RAMs for gaming. Actually you don't require any heat sinks for your RAMs because it doesn't uh, uh, heat up too much it is only a marketing purpose I must say so to speak. So guys now looking at physically designed it's really a normal look and nothing uh, fancy look here. At the back side you got a blue chip design and nothing fancy look here and you get the same look in any jet RAM you buy whether it is a 4GB, it is a 8GB or 1GB or 2GB whatever you buy whether in Corsair you just get a sticker over it it's a Corsair value select 4GB DDR3 RAM both are running on 133 uh, 1333 megahertz guides and both are running on clock 9 which can be overclocked I will show you uh, afterwards in this video now this is about the physical look physical look is not uh, fancy a lot, a lot but uh, yeah we have to actually check the performance rather than its physical look and it's a kind of cheap look but yeah let's go now we are going to check its performance in gaming in benchmarking and how uh, it can be overclocked and can it be used in uh, dual channels with the Corsair RAM let's go so guys after checking out the physical performance of both of the RAM now it's time to check out the hardware performance of both RAMs now what I did is I used the Nova Bench Matchmarking tool which is a great tool to check out the performances of the hardware now it has a overall score and a RAM score individual uh, test now what I did is I first used Corsair RAM and check its performance then I used Transit RAM and check out its performance and I then used both of the RAM together in dual channel mode and I was uh, surprised to see that the both of the RAM together is running very smoothly so now let's check out the Corsair RAM result first. Now as you can see that the RAM speed is 3153 megabits per second with a score of 110. Now you will be surprised after seeing the transcend results and that is very similar to the score of Corsair RAM. Now this is really surprising because guys uh, the difference between the transcend jet RAMs and Corsair in pricing is uh, very much and uh, uh, after that the both of the RAMs are performing uh, equally well. Uh, also the I also check out after using a uh, uh, extensive use of PC I also check out that the uh, RAM uh, heating capacity and I touched both of the RAM and I was surprised that you actually don't need any heat sink for the RAMs because they were not heat very much so and uh, now I must show you the dual channel results so this is the dual channel results guys one minute uh, now you can see that after using both of the RAM together you can see the uh, memory space developed and you can see the score just jumped to 160 with overall score of 845 which is a great improvement and which will really be helpful in uh, playing games you will see an FPS boost of around 10 5 to 10 FPS which is a great boost for just a uh, RAM so you may really go for transcend RAM if you are really going for buy a 4GB DDR3 RAM and uh, I also check out the overclocking performance of both of the RAMs now the thing is while you will overclock the RAMs you will get around uh, on 100 and uh, 1600 megahertz I was able to run the both of the RAM together with a clock rate of 11 which was uh, comparably a low rate with a uh, 1 triple 3 megahertz and clock of 11 clock of 9 so guys uh, better to run the uh, memory on 1 triple 3 megahertz with clock 9 rather than 1 double 6 1 6 double 0 on clock 11 I also tried to run the uh, ramps on 1 6 double 0 with clock 9 but it uh, hanged the game uh, so it shows that the RAM was not performing together well on that configuration so this was the results on uh, 1600 uh, dual channel mode uh, and the, you can see it decreased a bit performance so no improvement at all because the timings were uh, increased so you have to uh, take care of all the things now I'm going to show you this uh, 
clock rates of both are uh, both of the ram right now one second guys so guys one second it is loading guys so as you can see here the both of the rams are together running on 99924 timings and at 666 megahertz which is 1333 megahertz so this is a great uh, configuration for your pc and you can actually use it uh, and this ram performs really well and uh, uh, that's it guys and uh, you must buy it if you are use uh, exploring a ram for 1333 megahertz at uh, clock 9 level uh, yeah one more thing guys if you are using individual transient ram or both of the rams are of same brand then you can actually confirm uh, uh, use this rams also on clock 6 and 7 timings which i confirm on the specifications but i am using the both rams together so i have to configure it in at clock 9 level actually even corsair ram is not able to clock at a lower level than clock 9 so i may say that the transient ram is performing well or better than corsair ram so that's it guys thanks for watching and have a nice day